Well, we're, we're Mas Charmly. In this episode, we're going to show how to use an 8-bit gamepad for Krita. We will show you how to connect the controller properly and go over the keyboard shortcuts for Krita we recommend. It gets tricky because Krita does things a little differently, but it will be easier than it sounds. We'll even go over a little bit about using the stylus on your tablet in combo with the shortcuts. Okay, get ready, here we go. The 8-bit Duke gamepad we are using is the Zero 2. It has an 8-hour playtime and charges really fast. The 8-bit Duke Zero 2 works with Mac 10.7 and above. We are using Ventura on this Mac Mini M1, so that's what we are going to use in this tutorial. Step 1. To connect the 8-bit Duke Zero 2 to the computer to use with Krita, it has to be in keyboard mode. First on your Mac, go in the system settings and then go to the Bluetooth menu to be ready for what comes next. On the 8-bit do 2 press down R and start on the controller. The blue LED blinks five times per cycle. This puts it in pairing mode so that the Mac can see it. Once you see 8-bit do 2 gamepad with a keyboard icon on the left side, in the Bluetooth menu, you should connect to it. There we go, it's connected and in keyboard mode. It may take more than once to do, but that's normal, no worries. Just to let you know, the controller will auto-connect with macOS after this. Just press the start button on the controller to turn it on. Step two, what is keyboard mode on the 8-bit do 0 2? Put it simply, D-pad and buttons are now given letters instead of actions on a gamepad. The letters are C through O. Up is the letter C and start is the letter O. We have a key that can help. We'll put it on Gumroad for free. Step three. The keyboard shortcuts for Krita we recommend and use. First is undo and redo, of course, then brush size and even eraser. Krita has specifically labeled shortcuts that seem confusing at first, but quite logical as well. To make it easy, we put together this vocabulary that Krita uses for its tools. The best thing about configuring Krita is how much easier it is to customize than other programs we've used. There is no need to go into some labyrinth of submenus to find what you are looking for. Just go to Krita, Preferences, and Keyboard Shortcuts. On the right at the top is a search bar. In that search bar, just input the tool that you want to look up and use. Before creating the shortcuts, we just wanted to go over some things. When creating shortcuts, Krita gives you the option to create an alternate shortcut and disable the default one as well. It's convenient if you want to change it back. Sometimes Krita will give you a message of a shortcut conflict when you choose a letter that is already being used, you can assign or cancel. Don't worry, by assigning, you don't delete the pre-programmed shortcut in Krita. It just disables the pre-assigned shortcut key so the new one you make can be used instead. Okay, back to our previously scheduled program. <laughs> so, in the search bar in input, undo. Go to the alternate pop-up da pop-down menu, excuse me, Select the dot to the left of custom, then click the button that shows the word none. It's a little empty box. Doing that, you are now able to assign a key. And with the zero two in hand, on the D-pad, press down. And the letter D should be in the box. A warning message may come up. Just select assign, it will be okay. Make sure the custom is selected on the drop down, and go to the button to the left of the window and press okay. Now the first shortcut is assigned on the 02 for Krita. We wanted to talk about the eraser in Krita. It is called erase mode in Krita because it will turn the freehand brush that you are using into an eraser. It maintains all the characteristics of the brush but just makes it erase instead of putting color down. It can be a little finicky with the tablet, so we also made a shortcut for the freehand brush tool. Sometimes the erase doesn't toggle the best. Just sometimes. <laughs> Selecting the freehand brush tool brings it right back, no worries. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to finish the rest of the shortcuts. The next being redo. 
Let's go to the menu bar and select Krita and then Preferences. And we have to be sure we are on the keyboard shortcuts menu. And away we go! <laughs> in the search bar, type Redo. And in the alternative pop-down menu, select the dot to the left of Custom. Then click the button that shows the word None, it's that little box. Now you're able to assign a key. With the D-pad on the 0 to press Up. The letter C is now in that little box. Make sure the custom is selected before you press OK because we had some frustrating moments not knowing what went wrong. And that's why we didn't press that little dot. OK, now changing gears, we're going to show the process of using, of inputting the shortcut keys with the 0 to just at half speed so that this video isn't super long. You know, but yeah, be sure to refer to our cheat sheet when inputting the vocab for the tools. It can speed it up for you. It's gonna make it a little easier. So yeah. Now for the speed run of shortcuts. We also wanted to tell you about what we recommend to do with the stylus. On one of the buttons, we suggest making it the middle mouse button. This is to pull up the pop-up palette, which is super useful. We really love it. The other button on the stylus could be right mouse button to move the canvas, or even E for eraser. It's up to you. We hope this helps everyone out a little. We have another video about using the 8-bit do 2 with Clip Studio Paint. And over time, we found problems with the performance with the computers. They got really kind of slowed down and kind of funk. We think it was because of the app we were using. And we do intend to do a video like this one for CSP and the 8-Bit Do. Thank you again. Like and subscribe if you would like. And we will leave a link in the below description, description box. box. <laughs> the thingy jigger. <laughs> And it's going to have uh, a link to Redbubble or Gumroad. What Gumroad. <laughs> Gumroad. Sorry, excuse me. Gumroad for the cheat sheet. Okay. Moss Charm me out. out. You know, keep arting and make ugly till it's not. That's my mind.